Gathered and waiting in the harbor is the invasion fleet. Its officers have their sealed orders. It's funny to think that the pictures I take actually help people separate themselves from the war. They forget that it takes a soldier with a camera to capture these images. Folks seem to ignore the fact that it's a little bit more complicated than a propaganda film at your local theater. I got attached to Tyler's unit a couple weeks before we came to Europe. He was always eager to pose with his machine gun. He made jokes about how he would one day get those pictures developed and send them back to a girl back home. As I write his name down on this picture though, I hope to God that it doesn't get published in the papers and whatever girl he was talking about never sees it. Every now and then when there's a break in the action, I'll think back to what I saw and what I photographed. And I can't help but think I'm a little bit crazy, perhaps, to be shooting a camera instead of a rifle. Our fathers and grandfathers who fought in the Great War often talked about seeing images long after battle, how they couldn't shake the sight of their fallen friends from their mind. It seems I'm betraying their legacy by committing these same images to the collective memory of our entire nation. But if not me, then who? And while no doubt part of my duty is to photograph evil in its most pure form, Another part, the part that I enjoy, the part that I volunteered for, is to photograph valor and heroism and courage under fire and brotherhood and camaraderie and selflessness. And those are images worth capturing. Hey guys, you got enemies south of Crossroads. There's, There's a, a shots. MG to the west of Main Street. My service record may just say combat cameraman, but that doesn't quite capture everything that I've had to do. Never did I think I would find myself flying over Europe on an aircraft with a parachute strapped to my back and a camera in my hip pouch. So when you sit in those cool buildings back in the United States and you watch those comfortable films scrolling across the screen and you hear that reassuring voice of a professional narrator and the collective drone of battle as it shines on the screen, remember that there's more to war than what the propagandists share with you and there's more to death than what shows in those images. And for every black and white frame that scrolls across the screen, there is a person with a camera and a soldier in the viewfinder. <laughs>